Hey guys, it's Kerbler again, and today I'm bringing you another episode, and um, I'm starting a new series. Now, I'm not entirely sure what to do, but, um, and I'll explain that right now, um, but my friend, I talked to him yesterday, and apparently he's really good at Kerbal Space Program, and he gave me an idea for um, something we can do on the channel. He said, we'll do like a legitimate space program. Now, what he meant, now, I'm pretty sure what he meant by that is try and keep it realistic to what space programs do. Instead of, like, sending rockets up randomly and then just going to random places, they actually go there for a reason. And the reason I'm going to be going to places is for Keythane. I'm part of the Keythane mod. Now, I am having some problems with Keythane, as Keythane does not like to remember itself. Um, or, like, the maps don't like to stay. So, yeah, this is a completely new world, too, so I can't go to a satellite and prove it to you. But I got some new mods. I got the uh, Space Station mod. I forget what it's called. There's a link in the description. Or not a link, but the name of it's in the description. I got the modular multi-wheels, and I got... Um... No, that's all I got. Um, but, yeah, so today I'm going to be building a little Space Station core to send up and build a Space Station. Our first one above Kerbin, which is going to take in the incoming shipments of Keythane and uh, deliver them back to Kerbin and also refuel rockets on their way back. So we need to make a Keythane um, space station. Now this is going to be sped up from here on, so and it's going to have post commentary or a song or something. Uh, I don't know, something like that. So uh, yeah, I'll see you guys when I'm done launching. Bye. Start. All right, here we are in the post commentary me. And um yay, I'm building a space station as you guys probably heard from the real time commentary me. Um and yeah, th here's the mo uh module that comes with the space station mod and cuz because it fits the other space station parts, I decided to use it. Right now I'm kind of debating whether or not to put the little connector with the ladder or not. And so, yeah, I go on through making this space station. Now, my goal, as I said, was to have it house Keythane. So this is just core. So there's not going to be any Keythane tanks or anything on the core. The core is just going to be able to hold, is going to be the center where it holds everything together. If you guys don't already know what a core does. I'm using the um, struts for crew because I want my crew to be able to walk through the entire thing and uh, put um, what are they called the the connect things on the end of them so I can dock dock docking ports to the end of them so that I can dock stuff to the space station um, yeah I added some solar panels to the top of the space station mainly because it I won't be able to get the solar panel module on there for a while so I'm just putting those on for now the solar panel modules from this mod look and amazing and are really, really huge. Um, the only problem with them is that they, uh, they like, they are glitchy really badly. Last time I tried to use them, they like when they were retracted, it said it was giving power, and when they were extended, it wasn't. So it, it was weird. I don't, I don't really know. But um, so yeah, space stations now. Um, the guy who told me about the series, he's really good at Kerbal Space Program, um, or he's really good with rocket aspects. He says he's not very great with the space planes, um, but he's really good with rockets. So, we actually had a little talk time where we talked about Kerbal Space Program. He showed me how to dock a little bit better, because I didn't know how to dock. Well, I knew how to, I just never actually got the curve up to actually go and spend all my time to go do it. And, with, um, with one-on-one, -on -one, you know, it was a little bit easier than just trying over and over and over again uh, while watching a YouTube video. And so I'm going to be putting those aspects together in this series. Now, not only that, but I plan on making a base on certain planets to house uh, Keythane and mine Keythane um, with the Kerbal attachment system. That shouldn't be too hard, considering it can be used as a fuel line or an external fuel or yeah, an external fuel line that can be held by Kerbals, so I can actually make, like, fuel trucks and stuff. I was out building one on Duna, and, um, I'm not sure, though. Maybe I'll build one. Uh, the mine I found has quite a bit of keythane on it, but I'm 
Not sure. The Duna might have a bit more. I'll have to go check my Keithan satellite that I sent last episode, which you guys can go watch by clicking the link that's in the outro at the end of the video. Hint, hint. Uh, so, yeah, I add some of those solid fuel boosters on it, hoping that they'll work. Now, um, they don't really. I end up want, I end up cutting this part out because I forgot the struts. And not only did I forget struts, but I also um, like failed the launch because the solid fuel boosters decided to fall on top of my engine. So that's why you may have found a little break in the video. But um, I don't do this on too long. As I said, on the time I tried to do commentary, uh, there was a big weird kind of glitch in the operating, or not a glitch, just the way that it works with the editing program, and it started to make, like, it said I was recording longer than the video was going, or I was recording my voice longer than the video was going, and I don't know, it's just really weird, so I'm not sure if I should stop now or not, or what. But anyways, yeah, so there's my whole satellite, or not satellite, but space station plans. plan on building multiple space stations, not only one on Kerbin, but maybe one around the Mun or something, too, so that I can or whatever planet I mine Keithane the most on, because then I need to be able to get the mining operations down on Keithane, or on the planet, and then bring them back up to the space station. I was thinking maybe a mobile space station, um, or something, so that I can, um, well, so I can go back to Kerbin and dock with this space station, and then just transfer all the Keithane into that. I was thinking something like that, you know, maybe, maybe, maybe not. Uh, so there we go, you guys. I think that's going to be it for my post-commentating. Um, maybe not. Let's just see how much longer of video we have to go through. Um, then... Alright, well, um, yeah, the rest of it's just going to be silence. Last time I tried uploading a song on there for you guys, YouTube got all mad at me for copyrighted material. Even though I did put a thing on the video saying that I disclaim it, and I know I I understand now, actually, it makes a lot of sense, but still, um, it just stopped me from monetizing the videos, and, you know, I, I can't click on the little box. But, there we go, and, um, bye guys, I've been post-commentary Kerbler, and you'll be able to see real-time commentary Kerbler once we get the satellite into or so we get the space station into orbit and uh so yeah see you guys next time stop
Okay, guys, we're back in real time and stuff. And I've got the thing into orbit. Um, yeah, it's our first space station. Uh, it's going to be well, the start of our first space station. And since I used asparagus staging, which is way too efficient, I still have my main engine here. Um, and I'm going to keep it only for the reasons that it has fuel in it. Um, and so does this one. So that when I bring the fuel storage tanks up here, I can fill them up with this and this. And then I can ditch them. So, because otherwise it would just be a big waste to get rid of both those stages. So I'm going to keep them. And, um, yeah, we got the solar panels extended and everything. And so next episode, I'll be putting up a new module for it. And I'm not sure which one. I'm thinking uh, the habitation module or the fuel tank module. Um, and so I'll see you guys then. Bye.